everyone. Welcome to Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. Today in the session with me, Michelle, you're learning five ways to succeed at work by working hard? No, by enjoying your life every day. That is the key to success. You know what? You work so hard at office every day. But what about the evening? Should you also continue to work hard in the evening? No. The key is that you must enjoy your evening before work next day. You should spend your time re-energizing yourself and developing your skills, planning for the next day. So join me to learn more tips. to succeed at work is by having a plan jam every evening. What is a plan jam? Plan jam means to start planning for the next day. So that evening you must use to make your tomorrow very productive. So the first step to planning is to review and start reflecting about your day. What were the hits and misses? Where were you successful and where did you feel that you failed and you need to improve? So you must plan what you need to achieve by tomorrow. These are the crucial results that you need to get tomorrow. You should start by configuring your calendar and blocking time slots for different tasks the next day. The first would be for the meetings. Yes, you must have a scheduled time that you need for meetings the next day and also for administrative tasks. For this, you need some flexible time because you don't know when does an invariable unknown task might just come up. So you should have some flexible time, some extra time for the unplanned tasks. So don't forget to have a plan jam every evening. The second way to succeed at work is by socializing and nurturing your relationships every day. Yes, you heard it right. I'm asking you to take some time off from your work where there is no work and no worries about the next day. Just spend that time with the people that you consider so dear in your life because you need that time out to nurture your relationships. If your relationships are not going well and you're not emotionally balanced, you will surely look very weary at work. So make sure you spend that quality time with the person that is so dear to you. Do some activities together that you both love doing. Maybe you can cook together or maybe you can go out together and explore life's interesting topics and understand each other more. And that is surely going to bring a lot of joy on your face when you're next day at work and you will be all excited, happy and ready to rock. way to succeed at work is by expanding your horizons. Don't wait to learn. Don't think that you're going to join those language classes, those foreign language classes next month when you have a longer break. Do it now. Yes, join those language classes or visit a museum or maybe you can watch a live concert. And how about joining some dance classes? Don't wait for them. You don't need to wait for Saturday and Sunday to do all of this. After all, what's the point of trudging and dragging through five days of a week and then just living for two days? Trust me, that's surviving and not thriving. You surely want to thrive. You want to expand your horizons beyond your profession. So join some seminars and networking events where you learn beyond your professional knowledge. And that's going to expand your knowability and you can surely have more knowledge to share with your teammates and maybe even impress your boss with some good understanding of other fields as well. So expand your horizons, learn more, don't wait. The fourth way to succeed at work every day is to spend your after work hours reading and journaling. Journaling means to write down your feelings. Guess what? 
According to a study, people who spend 15 to 20 minutes every day journaling their feelings have a better physical and emotional balance. Yes, but why? It's because when you write, you're able to get rid of anxieties and organize your thoughts, recollecting them. So this is exactly what I do. That's my key to success. That I take 15 to 20 minutes every night writing about my day and my feelings and organizing my thoughts, recollecting them, reflecting on my mistakes and finding out where is it that I need to improve. And this prepares me for the next day and I can go to sleep more peacefully. I also suggest that you take some time out reading, reading what you love. Take some 30 minutes to read that because that is going to help you and remind you that it's very important to keep learning and you must not stop learning ever. So take some time out to read and journal your feelings and this is going to prepare you for an exciting tomorrow. The final way to succeed at work is by resting up. That means you must get enough sleep to start the next day. I recommend that you have at least 7.5 hours of sleep every day. I know a lot of entrepreneurs who have sleepless nights just because of their burning desire to achieve something or maybe they are afraid of failure. But how much ever ambitious you are, I recommend that you rest up because surely you can hack your way to success but you cannot afford to hack your sleep because you will never be your best with a lack of sleep. You must be re-energized because sleep refuels your brain for the next day and allows you to think in a refreshed manner so that you can think more carefully and be more attentive to the details at your work. This will surely allow you to be a high performer and you'll be ready for all the challenges that are coming forth the next day. Sleep, lack of sleep, you can always brag about it when you're in high school. It's cool to say, I just slept for three hours, but when you're working, you really cannot afford to do that. So 7.5 hours of sleep, make a promise to yourself. Rest up and enjoy the next day. While learning the five ways to be successful at work, we have packed together fun, rejuvenation, creativity, and nurturing your relationships. So you have elements of almost everything. So no more surviving at the work. You need to thrive the entire day to be very productive and successful at work. Please come back for more lessons at Skillopedia and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because this is the place where you learn skills for the real world. It's truly fascinating to see how successful people overcome challenges. They don't get scared at the face of challenges, rather they embrace the barriers and overcome the obstacles. There are seven things in particular that can stop you from overcoming challenges. And those are the very seven things that successful people overcome. To find out what they are, stay tuned in this session with me, Michelle, on Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. Gosh, I shouldn't have said this to my boss today. Why was I rude to my colleague at work? Do you also ask yourself these kind of questions sometimes? Do you have a tough time controlling your negative thoughts because of which you tend to get angry or feel jealous about things and that ends up in a real mess? If yes, then stay with me. Hi, I'm Sonia. And welcome to Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. Well, today, friends, I'm going to take you through a session on how you can control your negative thoughts. Because when you have negative thoughts and they overpower you, you tend to come out with negative emotions which don't really help. Especially if you're a working professional, it's not really good to be negative. 
So stay with me and I will take you through some amazing tips today.